engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. With the limitation of not be able to supply when the grid is off in grid type PV solar system, an additional generator can be added in order to guarantee a continuous supply of the power. It can use a grid type PV solar system, having a generator and a grid managed by changeover. When the grid is off, the changeover automatically switch on the generator and ensure a continuous supply of the power. Welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. If you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, switch on the notification bell, join our membership team in order to have a special attention, access to our models and having special guidance in your project. Share our contents, comment and like this video. In this video, we are going to simulate a hybrid PV solar system in MATLAB Simulink software. The hybrid consists of PV array, grid, and generator. You can check our previous video to have more detail on PV solar array model. A hybrid PV solar system is a system that operates with power grid and a backup system, normal energy storage system or a generator. The basic operation principle for our system is, during the day, PV solar system supplies with the grid. In case when the, PV, when the grid is off, the PV solar system supplies with generator. During the night, the grid supplies the full load current. Our system consists of 6,600 monocrystalline Canadian 375 watt panels, 10 panels in series and 660 strings, a diesel generator of 3 megawatt, and load the amount of 2.5. This is our model in MATLAB Simulink software. I will be introducing each component and parameters of each component. Here we have our 2.4 megawatt peak PV array. We have 3 megawatt these are generated and there we have our grid. Here we have four sub array of 680.75 kilowatt peak. Where we have 165 strings and 10 panels in parallel. Yes, the voltage and the current rating, four sub array, all of them have the same value, six, 618.75 kilowatt peak. You have our solar radiation and temperature input. Now let's open our DC, DC, DC boost converter. We have our MPPT parameters. Let's open our MPP control. If our function as the input and we have enable via it's so called to enable MPP controller based on the detective and observe algorithm. D is output due to cycle. 
enable input 1 to enable V input and PV array terminal voltage one input and PV array current and then you have other hmm? you can just follow power is equal to voltage times current you can follow just the conditions Here I have our unit delay, and here we have boost convert average mode. You can check more details on our previous video in a, in a grid connected PV solar system. Here you have our capacitor and our inductor. All of these here have the same parameters now let's go to three phase DC to AC converter or inverter we use a universal bridge here as I say can check from our previous video on a PV grid connected you have more details on the parameters here I have our voltage controller we have uh, our voltage DC voltage and voltage reference I have our PI controller here you have our current controller our PI and then our PI and in unit reference Here we have our three phase series IS branch. We have our three phase breaker. Here our three phase breaker is normal open. It will close from one to four seconds. Here we have our three phase VI measurement, grid voltage and grid current. And here we have our, P our DC voltage, unit delay, now let's go to our generator, now let's first to solar radiation, we have our solar irradiation, as you know the solar, the output power depends on the solar irradiation, from 0 to 1 second the solar irradiation is 0, that means not supply, not producing. And from 1 to 1.98, the solar irradiation is 865. And from 1.98 up to 24, the solar irradiation is 1170. And here, the temperature is a 25 degree. Now, let's look our three, our, our generator of 3 megawatt or of synchronous machine these are the parameters this is the same parameter that I've been using for the whole green generator connected here we have our diesel is the parameter we have our diesel engine governor Here we have our excitation system. Here we have a three phase breaker. Normal open, it will close, it closes zero to half, half and four to five.
here we have three phase VI measurement and here you have power factor or power phaser sorry about that here have our power calculation here we have our watt peak watt peak megawatt peak the DC output voltage and there we have our AC output voltage and here we have our grid the same grid that I've been using the ratings we have our VI measurement we have a three phase rating it's normal open close at half half at half to four means time that you're going to supply we have our three phase measurement then we have our power three phase here's a grid voltage and grid current which is connected to our three phase red and there we have our as you know our load is 2.47 megawatt load yeah everything's okay now let's run and see the behavior for our system please do not forget to subscribe the channel share our contents comment and like this video The normal basic operation of our model is PV array will supply between 1 to 4 seconds. The generator uses a normal close breaker and supplies from 0 to, uh, to 0 0.5 seconds and from 4 to 5 seconds. A grid uses normal open circuit breaker and it supplies from 0 0.5 seconds to 4 seconds. Now let's run our system and check the behavior of our model. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we can continue uploading video like this. Share our contents, comment and like this video.
let's check our results as you, as you can see from 0 to 0 0.5 seconds generate a supply and from 0 0.5 seconds to 4 generate is not supply and from 4 to 5 generate a supply the same applies from 0 0.5 to 1 second the grid is apply, supplying the, the full load and from 1 second to 4 the grid is sharing with PV array the same applies here thank you so much for watching please subscribe the channel share our contents comment and like this video